Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about this little digital modem thing. Okay, what this guy is, well, it says digital modem on it, and I'm not entirely sure, but that may be the name brand, as the manual says this too, digital modem version 104 Delta. Uh, I guess that's the name brand of what it is. Uh, well, what it does is it replaces a computer. You can, uh, let's just turn it on, I'll show you what it can do. Hold B1, push up on B2, and it starts up. Okay, let me see if I can get into the menu. Oops, get into the menu. Okay, we'll go to mode. I think it's select there. Okay, this is what it does. Uh, it's got a couple different PSKs here. It's got some RIDI, CW, and uh, the CW right here where I'm at is pretty cool and I'm actually using that because what I got this for uh, I don't have the correct uh, connector this is the port that goes to the radio and I use ICOMS so uh, I have to make a different adapter the ICOMS actually came with pigtails and I and pinouts and the manual actually shows a pinout for this so uh, I could connect it anyway what I've been using it for yeah see what it's doing there it's hearing me talk and it's <laughs> it's funny okay but I got my practice CW oscillator here and let me focus in here I'm gonna try to stop talking and I'm just gonna try to do uh, I'll try to do my call sign well that's not it there and that's not a T anyway there's too much background noise in the, the furnaces running and the stuff whistling through but I'll try it one more time Now it's it's giving me T's and it's supposed to be an E. There, okay. If I did it faster, anyway. Uh, when it's down here, right beside the speaker, it works pretty good. But it's just too much glare on the camera, I guess. Uh, the thing is really neat. Let me shut it off here. Okay, the thing is really really cool when it's quiet. Uh, it's pretty good at at picking up my my CW here. I'm no expert at CW. I actually suck at it. And I have a cheat sheet on the wall there that I've kind of been learning. Uh, and it's fun. It's fun for me. My Actually, my eight-year-old comes in and we, we take turns banging out some CW. Uh, yeah, like I said, this thing is supposed to replace a uh, laptop. So if you're doing PSK or ready out in the field, you don't have to take your expensive laptop with you. You can take this. And the USB port right here is where you plug in a keyboard. I have a uh, I might actually have it here with me. Uh, I have a little roll-up USB keys board that, that I use. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to make that happen. Anyway, the manual's not bad. It's uh, It's got some squiggly, scratchy symbols in it that I don't quite understand. I don't even know where this is from. Uh, I ordered this from Walmart at walmart.com. You know how they have those different sellers that are not, not Walmart, but just the sellers for Walmart. Uh, it's got a good color manual. It comes with all these cables. Mine didn't come with a charge cable, so I don't know if that's uh, optional. It did come with the USB. It did come with the six-pin data cable. Uh, yeah, but I didn't get the charge cable. It takes, I think, two AA batteries inside there. And it even shows you how to do it in the manual here. And then here's where the squiggly, scratchy stuff is. Like, I don't Is that Chinese or is it uh, Japanese or something? I don't know. But that's where the two AA batteries would go, and uh, it shows you how to hook everything up. And there's the pinout actually on this one. And in the back of the book, there's a pinout for uh, I think it's a 13 pin is what the ICOMs use. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much don't do dumb stuff, and uh, it's it's pretty neat. It's got a lot of cool stuff in it. Uh, Okay, and if you have your uh, keyboard plugged in, your F1, and you do all this other crap, and it does other things, and it's pretty neat. Exchange info, and uh, how to update, and uh, update the firmware. Here's your CW mode. It gives you a whole list of stuff that you can do with your CW. And here's the upgrading the firmware. You turn your volume all the way to boot when you turn it on, and it starts up in a boot screen. And here's more of that squiggly, scratchy language stuff. So, uh, it actually looks like an old... Uh, web page or old uh, prompt screens or whatever <clears throat> uh, 
Now, on the back, the very back somewhere back here, it's got uh, a, how to do how to do different things from your when your keyboard's plugged in. You can do some stuff from the from the front. This is a rotary, and you can select stuff, and then this confirms and such. But you can also do a lot if you have your keyboard plugged in. Uh, which I haven't really done all of this stuff in here. Oh, this is kind of cool, too. Uh, there's your actual CW uh, codes. The letter O is da da da, obviously, you know. I don't know what this crap in between here is. Uh, but down here, it gives you special characters and stuff. It's kind of cool. Your other special characters are over here. It's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, here's actually the pen out for 13 pen. Uh, your icons and your. Uh, Kenwood, other icons, and then uh, that's your Yezu stuff. I was kind of using this as a, well, I don't have the right radio to plug these in, so maybe it's time for another radio. <laughs> that's always a, always a fun thing to do. Well, that's it anyway. Uh, the little digital modem thing, as you can see, it's pretty small. fits in your hand. You can fit it in your shirt pocket. Uh, it will be great when I can get it out there and get some use out of it. I've, those of you that follow my channel know that I do a lot of cold weather camping also. A lot of remote operating. So this will be fun for that. So until next time folks, keep warm and uh, hopefully 2021 is a lot better than the last thing, the year that we don't speak of. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, have a good one and keep your powder dry.